How's it? Indian Cowboy, DocSports.com, Arun Shiva here. Coming at you on Friday, June the 7th, as we get this video to you around this time. Have your free pick winner in just a second here. Your free pick winner today is going to be between, uh, let's give it to you between Dallas and Los Angeles in the WNBA. Lots of good free selections for you today. I have about five for you today. Obviously, the first one is a free selection. The rest are leans. But uh, let's go with the, a side here. I think it's uh, it's a pretty good free selection. Nice free pick winner yesterday as we gave you the Diamondbacks. So 33 and 19 free pick runs. So obviously 60, uh, 66% or so uh, for about a month and a half. That's very, very good. And uh, hope you guys are doing great. Hello, I'm Indian Cowboy. This is Doc Sports Indian Cowboy. The algorithm of Indian Cowboy have been around for 19 years. Doc Sports, 53 years. I have a doctorate and a master's in biostatistics. That's how these algorithms work. Welcome to my free daily podcast. Our best selections are over at DocSports.com under Rune Shiva or Indian Cowboy. Our next best selections are our free picks and leans, which is the daily video that you're watching right now. If you can't get enough of us, we have a very popular YouTube premium teaching channel where we come at you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 9 p.m. And uh, today I'm going to do an extra show. At, uh, tonight at 9 o'clock, so I'll see you then, uh, where we teach you how to do your own algorithms, and you get the first look on the next day's ball games. Uh, you get a 12-hour head start before anybody else, so you get the best lines, so it's a massive advantage. Uh, and you get basically, and I'm going to try to do it on Sunday as well, uh, and I try to basically do it five days a week, so it's an incredible value. Um, and I give you a written summary at the end as well, uh, so in case you miss it, you can re-listen to the podcast at any time, or you can listen to the one-minute recap that I do, or you get the written summary. You get everything, all right? And uh, what is that? Yeah, you're looking at, uh, if I did it five days a week, you're looking at about you know, 200 selections uh, for just $20 a month. Probably one of the best deals on the internet over there. And uh, yeah, so the link to YouTube Premium is in the comments section. There's a link to how to get to free $60 of the premium selections. If you want more content, hop on to my Twitter. It has our latest updates, our hot takes on sports, popular consensus reports, and latest videos are posted there. So what do I need to tell you? We have a seven-unit uh, baseball selection today, which goes off early at 640. Nice baseball winner yesterday. Gave you a beautiful Cardinals under. Final score is 3-2. to two. It brings our baseball run to, I think, 14 and 5 plus 3,300. Pretty incredible. We're going to try to make it a 15 and 5 baseball run today for plus 4,000. Uh, WNBA was missed yesterday, but I really like our selection today. We're going to win today in the WNBA. Excited about that. And as it relates to the NBA, great winner on the uh, Celtics under. Uh, great call. Uh, so we're plus 40, we're plus 3,200 in the NBA playoffs now. And um, yeah, I mean, we're plus 3,200 in the NBA playoffs. Um, we are. On a obviously a thirteen and five baseball run for plus thirty two hundred, um, uh, WNBA is on a, on a five and two run as well. Uh, MMA plus fifty two hundred on the year. Uh, so let it be baseball, NBA, hockey, which is obviously plus forty one hundred now in the hockey playoffs. Incredible run. Um, so baseball, NBA, hockey, soccer, WNBA, golf, MMA, all good stuff. All right, let's get to your free play winner today. And I like the Los Angeles Sparks today plus the points. You can find LA at around. Plus four, the public jumped all over Dallas, uh, but I like LA plus the four. It makes sense here. You have a three and five and two and seven team here. The difference is Dallas doesn't have any depth, okay? Dallas has won back to back games coming, or has lost back to back games, has won back to back games coming in uh, against LA, uh, beating them 84 to 83 recently, uh, but overall they've lost their last three games. Um, LA has also lost several games in a row. They're only two and nine. Um, you know, you have an L.A. team here that went four for 28 from three-point land. They actually have far more depth than Dallas. They have eight, nine people on the scoring chart. And Dallas can only put up five people on the scoring chart these days. Um, so it makes sense to back L.A. here. L.A. had 26 points in the first half in their last game. I think that's going to motivate them. I'll be glad to take the points for a team that can win out, right? I'm going to take L.A. plus the four here on Friday night where it's popping in L.A. for the win. Minnesota and Phoenix uh, in the WNBA. I like Phoenix there. Minnesota is, is so good right now. They're crushing teams. They're 7-2. and two. Um and uh, just hammered LA. Phoenix lost to this team by 24 points recently. I think they'll get up for this game. Phoenix has beaten Vegas too. So whenever Phoenix wants to play, they play well. Um, sometimes they're just not interested. They were coming off of win. They had a huge letdown in the next game. They couldn't put together back-to-back -back wins. Uh, Brittany Griner is still out, but at the end of the day, you know, Phoenix still has so much maturity um, and so much talent. Um, I think they'll come through here, especially with some revenge. That's why that line is so low, only four and a half, plus four and a half. And as far good as Minnesota is, who just clobbered LA on the road, I think Phoenix steps up here. Indiana, Washington, the WNBA. I like the over there. Um, you know, these two teams have not met this year so far. Indiana just lost 68 to 104 to New York. They did beat Chicago and LA so far. Washington had turn uh, had uh, 24 turnovers in the last game. I think the only way to look at this game is that Chicago bounces back on offense, and you have to have wa a Washington team that is an active dog. There's a lot of juice here at Washington. Could be. I, there's a lot of juice here too. I think there's a lot of excitement here with Washington trying to get their first win, and Indiana obviously coming off a terrible loss, 68 to 104. I think they bounce back offensively, so it does make sense here for the over to happen. And I almost made this my free play. 
there, but I do like the over between Indiana and Washington. I only laid off because Indiana gave up 104 points in their last game and they could play some offense. But I think the fact that they score only 68 points in their last game outweighs that. And the fact that Washington is going to be an active dog is only a small underdog. To be an active underdog and get their first win outweighs that, and therefore I like the over. Milwaukee and Detroit in baseball. I like Detroit here. Milwaukee's lost three in a row to the Phillies. You have Myers uh, here. Tigers lost one to nine yesterday, so both teams are on the bounce back. Myers has a five ERA, and he's coming off of a tough start, so he could bounce back. But you have Reese Olsen here. Uh, he went five innings, six hits, five runs against Boston, two home runs in his last game. He gave up a season high in home runs. He's been a phenomenal pitcher. He's the same guy that went six innings, three hits, no runs against Toronto, five innings, two hits, no runs against the Yankees. It's weird that he's only a small favorite, but a lean on the Tigers for me off of a loss and a pitcher on a bounce back. Finally, Atlanta, my Braves and the Washington uh, Nationals. I like the under there. Atlanta beat this team. Atlanta beat Washington uh, five to two last time. They've won three or four coming in. Washington has lost four in a row coming in. So Atlanta is off of a win, and Washington is off four straight losses. Sale and Irvin here. Sale went four innings, nine hits, and eight runs to Oakland in his last start. It was absolute worst start of the year. Solid bounce back spot for him. Irvin went six innings, two hits, no runs against the Braves. So he had success against the Braves, and he still lost. But I think he'll once again get up to face the Braves here. I think both these pitchers are on bounce backs. Uh, and then you have a and you have a Irvin here. Irvin meaning bounce back, meaning revenge against the Braves. But he went six innings, four hits, and no runs against the Dodgers at one point this year. That's pretty phenomenal. He got crushed in his next game, but still against the Dodgers. But he did have a good start against the Dodgers, which means he's capable. Um, I think it's I think with, with Washington coming off a loss and Irvin likely to pitch well and Sale coming off a bad start, it makes sense for the under here. So that's what I have for you guys on my video. Hope you guys are doing great. If you enjoyed the content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. Join our premium packages, of course, uh, which would be great. And uh, obviously join our YouTube premium. It's just a huge, massive advantage. I don't know what else to tell you. Massive advantage. And uh, we'll see you on the live show tonight at 9 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to do eight games for you just like I did here. And uh, and you get the 12-hour head start before anybody else. And uh, I'll try to also do one on Sunday night too, okay? I try to do it five nights a week. So hope you guys are doing well. The time varies between 9 and 11, but uh, I always try to update it on the back end. So take care. Bye-bye.